All right, so today we're going to finish up on our cool versus warm color unit. Um, last class, we talked about the difference between cool and warm colors. And now at the beginning of class, I mean, and then after that, we talked about how we were going to create using cool and warm colors. So Penelope is going to present her work and Basically, just to go over the directions, um, I have, you were supposed to trace your hand, add art, elements of art to the background and the positive um, space. And then you were going to choose whether you wanted to add cool color to the background or warm color to the background. Um, I also added a challenge to see if anyone wanted to add cool and warm colors to their artwork. So right now we're gonna do an art critique. If um, Penelope, if you could come closer so we can present your work. Now, before we start, what is an art critique? Um, it's when you talk about your art and your peers give you feedback. Okay, all right, so let's sh show your work to everyone. Show them what you did. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, what? First of all, there's lots of things I like about your work. Thank um, you. how do you think you did in general? I think I did an amazing job, um, and I think I add a lot of lines and shapes and colors. And what do you call those lines and shapes and colors in art? You added what? Um, I added wavy lines. I added, I added, um, I added straight lines, mm -hmm. and I added, I added shapes. So I, I so added, what are those called in art when you add shapes, lines, colors, elements, art of elements. Elements of art, good. Okay, now did you add cool colors, warm colors? What did you add after add, you drew your work? I add cool colors and warm colors. Warm colors, okay. And what are some of the cool colors you used? I used blue, purple, and green. Okay, and what about the warm colors? What do you have there? I used peach, I used yellow, red, pink, magenta, orange. Okay. All right. Is there anything you would have done differently if you had the chance to do it over again? Um, I think I wouldn't um add the heart. I would add maybe diamonds. Diamonds. That's different. Okay. Well, I love the way you decided to take on the challenge by using both cool and warm colors. So, snaps for that. Um, I like the lines you use. I like how you use zigzag and wavy lines together. That shows a lot of um, contrast. It makes it very interesting. Um, I also like the way you added shapes in the hand and the background. The positive and negative space has one shape, and you incorporated a cool and warm color within that shape. So good job. Thank you. Okay. All right, so tomorrow we're going to talk about more. We're going to talk more about positive and negative space, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, so good afternoon, Penelope. So today we're going to go over um, the color wheel, right? We, last time we talked about there being six colors in the color wheel, but today we're going to look closely at the different um, temperatures of hues that are within the color wheel. So as you can see, we have red, violet, blue, green, yellow, and orange. Now, if we put a line cut in half, if I divide the color wheel in half, um, say this way down the middle, what colors are on this side? Um, the cool colors. Right, and then on, on the other side? 
the warm colors. Right. So when we think of warm colors, we want to think of um, a sense of warmth, like fire or the sun, right? What ah. color? What colors do you see in the sun? Um, yellow or orange. And those are what colors? Warm colors. Right. And then on the cool colors, we like to think of things we see in nature. Like ice or water. Waters in nature, like cold lakes. Um, what about, uh, what else do we see in nature? The sky. Right, and sometimes it tends to look blue, right? Blue is a very cool color. And also grass. Green is also considered a cool color as well. All right, so I'm sharing my screen. You're gonna be on your Chromebook. And we're going to complete the activity. So on the second slide, it just shows a nice visual to show you the um, examples of cool colors and warm colors. You can see the primary colors, secondary, and the tertiary colors. And then on slide three, I would like you to just sort out the cool and warm colors, OK? OK. Um, okay, that's going to be for, actually, that's going to be your exit ticket, okay? okay. And what, um, what is an exit ticket? It's like doing a quiz over something, or I think... Based on what? Based on the warm colors and cool colors. Okay. All right, sounds good. Um, do you have any questions about slide three activity? Um, no. No? You're okay? Yeah. All right. So I'll give you a few minutes to actually work on that now, and then I want you to turn it in when you are done, okay? Okay. All right.